over. It's over. I hit start recording again because I had to hit stop recording for the joke so I could seamlessly stitch it together. <laughs> yeah. no. Wait, are we actually keeping that? Do you, do you not want to keep that shitty goal. intro? <laughs> no, you should, no, no, you do you should do. What? Save that for the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boopers. It's the yeah. boopers. <laughs> See now that we've actually started, they'll have to wait till the end to figure out what the fuck did we wait. Why for? did just What's Why did you yeah. start mid conversation again? Yeah, dude, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> I am glad this podcast comes back once every couple months. I, know, I, love it. I think it's Honestly. it's been months since the last one. Oh, it's geez. been a long time. Wait, check, it's been when a was, minute. wait check when it was uploaded. It might have been a full year. I'm uh, honestly, you really need uh, to start like, racing to it. Thing. One year ago was the last one. Oh my god! Wait, was that pre-COVID? I think it was. No. Yeah, it totally was because that was Pepsi spam. September twenty third, oh. twenty nineteen. That definitely was. Oh, that is pre-COVID. Oh my god! That's, that's like. Post- oh my god! <laughs> this is. Oh the... my god! It's this is the COVID edition. Yeah. Oh, is you know, this is post-COVID edition because no, we're pretty no, much over. COVID Delta variant. Yeah, it's still uh, this is, this I is mean, Delta we're edition. all vaccinated here, right? I mean, oh no, you no, Devin, yeah. you, you can tell it's yes, sir. because we had the Sonic the movie meme and we went to see that. That was the last movie we saw. Oh yeah. yeah, that was the last movie we saw in theaters, and I'm and glad. It's still the last movie I've seen in theaters. We yeah, could have gone to see. Demon Slayer. We could have seen Demon Slayer. Yeah. Yeah, if I had known that we could have just totally seen it, and I did not, I only needed to watch like the first handful of episodes to watch a Demon Slayer movie. I would have been bored out. But it's like, man, I have not seen actually as much as I should have. Uh huh. Demon Slayer stuff. I mean, it's like without watching the movie, I wouldn't have known that you didn't really need it. Yeah, that's no, also yeah. I think I was super busy with work and I was just tired. Wait, so have we started now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been started. Yeah, yeah. We, I know. We've been started. Nick, I think you ask like... this question like every podcast. <laughs> every <laughs> episode is that you asking or... when it, have we started? Because, because All right, put that on the bingo board. Because... Oh, yeah, <laughs> Nick asking if we started. <laughs> that's a bingo <laughs> board one. Because uh. It feels so seamless because we're just talking so fluidly, am I? Yeah, oh, yeah you ruined it by talking yeah, about talking, how Nick. fluid it is. <laughs> it. Nick, now, it's, is now it's meta. A bunch of people talking. That's I know. I'm... Okay. It, it shouldn't bingo. come out. It shouldn't be four. That, that's a know? bingo. Check your cards now. But anyways, <laughs> I think the uh, Demon Slayer movie is like my last two weeks of me working at Speedway. Lol. So oh, definitely working just... on the later Speedway. half. Oh, I so worked at Speedway. Tell us about your job, though. Tell us about your job. Uh, the last like, one or the new one? The, the new the one. New one. You're, 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 like, while I'm at my work, while I'm at my job, I just look at my phone and I just see a bunch of, like, stuff that, like, really applies. That now you have a really big boy job. Like, you work from home, you go to an office. Like, you got, like, yeah. a really, like culture now, now. Yeah, I mean, it's really weird because I'm the youngest. My boss actually mentioned that I'm the youngest person who works in the whole office. <laughs> Apparently, uh, someone had asked him if I was someone's kid. <laughs> and he's like, nah, he works here. He goes, really? How old is he? I don't know. He's got to be at least be out of high school. Is it a, is it a big company? Uh, Yeah, it's a big, it's like a, it, it covers the entirety of North America. And I think it has a European office, too. Oh, oh shoot. it's just one that of those things. It's, there's a lot of. Co- I found there's a lot of companies that are multinational companies. You just never heard of them because they're in a business. It's like you wouldn't think the guy who owns, who invented the Q-tip, is a billionaire, but he is. It's just not something you think about on a normal basis. So you know what I mean? Yeah. You work at it's like one yeah. of those like companies where you're just like, wow, I didn't, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, well, it's, it's a company that does work for other companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, pretty much. It's like a Dunder Mifflin. Is that what you're telling me? I don't know what that is because I haven't watched That's the office. That's an office restaurant. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like the paper company. Bruh. It's 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 a it's a company that I believe um, helps bridge the gap and makes it easier for people who want to buy product or send a product to like a facility. Like hypothetically, I'm just going to run you through a scenario. I'm a company that makes uh, forklifts, and this individual wants to buy my forklifts. So I then contact the company I work for to help facilitate this transaction. The company that I work for is the ones that uh, creates the standard, um, you know, what do you call it? The invoices, the bill of ladings, they book the carrier, they set up the time and date with the software that this, that my company developed. And they do this all across uh, North America. Oh, okay. So you're kind of like a shipping company. Okay. Pretty much. Not mm-hmm. like the, it's, it's. Mm-hmm. it's it's more like uh, we like we facilitate the shipping, yeah. yeah. Not we just because we're not the carriers ourselves. We're the uh, 
We're like, hey, we have this load that we want to have uh, delivered. And they go, okay, where? And they say, oh, to wherever. Interesting. That's pretty cool. And I my job, that. my job, I mean, that's like what the company does. My job in particular it's a it's very weird it's one of those jobs where my entire team is mostly the people from my team go help other teams like i know this one guy in my team he spends a lot of his time helping out with a specific accounting account lucas changing his picture mid goddamn podcast what the fuck is your problem <laughs> bro <laughs> it needs a few picture of me it's my Why picture ain't you... a picture of me no it's oh, totally man. right i'm a picture of me Fair yeah but, but see i identify i am a, a goofball <laughs> but um i think it's a nice picture anyways continue and since uh, there's also a lot of odd jobs that i basically do mostly because i haven't <laughs> i don't know a whole lot of the specific stuff i feel like i'm gonna get thrown on and help a specific account because that's what my boss is really trying to push me to mm. but this other guy who also works on that account yeah uh, he does it all himself and he's like no nah, i don't need the help it's like i mean you do because you spend all your time on that and you'd be doing something else instead of doing this and you're really good at your job. Nah, but I don't want to. He's real happy with only doing the one thing. Yeah. Not, not having he, do, he doesn't more. want more work. But at the moment, uh, my day is I come in, I sit around for two hours until 10 o'clock, okay. do like an hour's worth of work, and then just do work as it comes in until like uh, 2 o'clock. Then at two, from 2 to 4, I just do actual work that I have to do. And then for the last hour, I just kind of dick around doing absolutely nothing. Because nothing yeah, happens after 4 o'clock. Seems like a pretty sweet gig. Yeah, especially when I can work from home. But, but is there that's a water cooler? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a, a good question. water machine. There might be a water cooler, but it might be in a different coffee? side of the office. Yeah, there is All right, but coffee. how many people uh, pull up to the water machine? Water cooler to Are there any MILFs? Uh, I'm not going to answer that last question that Alex just asked. You got a pocket for that one. Are there water cool chats? <laughs> I imagine. I don't like where this you want to get you want to get some practice in? No, no, no. When no, are we having no. water cooler podcast? Never. No. I will no, never no, no, put that. No, no, you can no, record no. it, but I'm never know, putting it on my out. channel. Hear me out. I'm saying we record a podcast, but it's us sitting around a water cooler. Okay, we that actually, I'm uh, in real. But we have to yeah, get a water cooler. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it would be really funny. <laughs> water cooler yeah, podcast. I can, I can get some water during it. I'd be nah, real thirsty right now. Yeah, that, that's Do it at the, the that's water our, fill station at Walmart. That's our gimmick, Lamar. We water cooler chats. But um, <laughs> we also get free sodas. Free oh, sodas. Damn, there's bro. like, there's like a, I think it's a, a big Pepsi cooler, and then we just, I think it's like two per day, and you can go, yeah, whatever we have in here, you can just take one. Oh, rad? Feels That's like it's stock or diet coke. There, there is actually, from what I remember, there is like, uh, I think there was like three twenty-four packs of diet coke just sitting next to it, but there was no diet coke inside the cooler. Oh, it was they mostly. Don't, they don't like cold. It was mostly the, regular coke, Dr Pepper, it. Sprite, Sunkissed, uh, Pepsi, um, some of the bubbly waters, a couple of Croy, bubbly, uh, Coke Zero. And then the rest were kind of in boxes, and I wasn't paying that much attention. I just wanted a Dr. Bepper. Yes, sir. Dr. Bepper. Dr. Perky. Mario. There's also a waffle maker for some fucking reason. Oh. Make waffles. Oh, you know, make waffles. Waffles. Want some breakfast? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty neat company. Do you know Do you know if they have any, like, waffle mix just, like, sitting around? No, but I imagine if you brought your own in and just fucking threw it down in the oh, office. Oh, you have to bring in your own. That's <laughs> wild. I, to be no, honest, though, I don't know. I haven't. I've only. I've only opened nah. one cupboard to grab a cup for a cup of water on my first everybody, day. Everybody, I have no I'm, idea. I'm late to work. Gotta get my waffle mix. Nah, see, that's how you scam. Uh, I don't want to do work this hour. I'll make everybody breakfast. Yeah, I mean, totally. Because I someone uh, a while ago, one of my coworkers said, "Yeah, when it was just like seven people in the office because of COVID." Uh, people you, at the time, people could still come into the office apparently if they wanted to, but they totally let people just do everything from home. Some guy just took like an hour and a half and made everybody like pasta or whatever. Waffle Sorry. party. And they sometimes uh, pay. Uh, I think last week someone. Uh, I don't know. It, must, it probably wasn't someone. There was a company lunch. They uh, brought in like uh, catering for like some Chinese restaurant that I never heard of. It's literally in Chinese, so I have no fucking clue what it is. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, then, I really wanted a local good Chinese place, because I, I do like having it once in a while, but I don't trust St. Cloud. And then on yeah, Wednesday, they yeah, brought the in, like, is... uh, 
40 pizzas. The thing is, like, I have a, I had an old coworker I used to work with at Sartell. Um, he used to go to a Chinese place like every every week. Um, like I know about it because like one of my roommates he got that and I tried his fucking leftovers. That shit tasted terribly. I I don't know what it was about it, but it was just it was just terrible. It was so bland. No like, real Chinese people in Yeah. Yeah. So like I just wait, can't Alex. I have a question. Food. You said in Sartell. Yeah. Was it called Pacific Walk? Uh, oh my god! I don't want to talk. Uh oh, fair enough because that was the name of the company that they did it through. They just had some really weird Chinese uh things. Uh, uh, that, that's interesting. What, to say. Whatever curious who it was. I don't want to dox them time. in Sartell. Okay, Alex. <laughs> it, look, look. The only Chinese place. Look, in the there's, whole there's city. A lot all right, guys. Go send head to go send hate to uh, Pacific Walk. <laughs> Facts. There is there is other restaurants there. Not just this is gonna be the most advertising they got in a year. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively in Sartell. The two viewers watching this podcast. A- Andy got to get in touch with the podcast to put sponsors on. Yeah, his, I'll uh, totally let Andy's project. company sponsor the podcast. <laughs> wait, <laughs> exactly. Andy, That's how he oh, gets wait, his yeah, order. Yeah, I forgot. Across. Andy does oh, have a company. A company? He? Well, he's trying. Yeah, he, he, is, he wants he's, to. He wants to, and he's, he really he's wants uh, to, yeah. doing all the research and stuff for it. He has the idea down. He, he said he I could be a beta tester for his product, and it was pretty neat. Wait. You what, is, uh, what is the product? Hell yeah. What is he doing? Oh my god. I well, don't can say I can hop, he said I can hop on his company as a programmer. It, it's a service, not a uh, product necessarily. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he wants to have a, ch- a box. They're like a food box with like Chinese snacks and such. Asian snacks. Oh. Uh, in order to promote like uh, Asian stores that sell the snacks. It's oh. like, because as he said, that's white cool. people don't know what they want from the Chinese store. Yeah, um, you know that, that makes sense. It's like, it's like a it's like a monthly loot box kind of thing, right? Kind like kind of Chinese well, like all those other boxes that or, are all around. It's like Asian food. But you could buy it, I think, whenever you wanted. You could buy. I don't know if it was whenever you wanted or if it was monthly or whatever he was doing. I don't think he said that. I don't remember. I, I'm, but he, he said when it, when he said his company is, you know, if he does if it does work out. Uh, he said when it gets bigger, he wants to do it so that you can just uh, pick and choose snacks from specific companies you want through the website. Yeah, it's all about random. local businesses promoting the local Asian stores. Mario, you basically, I think you basically added Andy say, give us money to be on our podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, we can, yeah, we're take the sponsorship. No we'll question. do it. Yeah, we'll what's, do his, it. what's his we word you're throwing around? Give us 20 bucks. Mm. Oh shit! Yeah, wait. It's I guess it is on Devin's channel, huh? Oh, I suppose. Wes is we were you throwing around? Devin, you're the one getting the free. I mean, let me change that. Then. See, I gotta get the free box first before oh, I can let him sponsor. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. Yeah, Devin's gotta get his payment. Like, uh, let's be. Me and Nick gotta get our payment. I need my comeuppance before you can come through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go. That's fair enough. I mean, his business is just like dust right now. It's an idea. And what was his other? What was his other business? Oh, his oh sugar. It was um, oh I remember. It was a meme company. Oh right, I don't want to talk about it. No, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh my god, Andy. Like I can just imagine it. His the Cooper Hawk meme page, but for or his um, yeah to assist companies in modern advertising using meme culture. That's terrible. uh, He could be super fucking like stalker. Yeah. Oh, you know, not all of his ideas can be a, a great hit. No, no. no wait, okay, I feel bad for saying this because I haven't does. listened. Has any, have any of you listened to Andy's podcast? No. Andy? Oh, no, I can't I'm say not. I have. I, I didn't listen. know Andy had a podcast. Uh, his podcast is with one of the Coles. I can't remember. I never Cole, liked any yeah. of them in high school, yeah. so I never want to bother. Well, I just never it. talked to him. It's mm-hmm. like he posted his logo on Instagram. He did he one thing that he did one thing that pissed me off in high school, and I never wanted to talk with him again. If it's not the call I'm thinking of, the other one I didn't like either. Yeah, fuck I, I don't know his last name. Oh, they're very yeah, fuck J Cole. So... Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to stop you there. <laughs> if you don't like it, leave. This is podcast. Yeah, get out. <laughs> fuck off. J Cole stands. Get out. Okay, but okay, quick question: the server, the Discord server, Speedway themed. Am I? Should I ever change it? I, I think it is I mean, funny this way. way. I yeah, I mean it works this way. Yeah. yeah. I think it's fine the way. Okay, it is. just making sure. It is kind of. Well, you know, 
it is kind of like a, it's an inside joke, LeBron, in a way. Well, it's yeah. only funny to us. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, like yeah. our, uh, our space. It, our it's game. like per, it's like our personalized mouth. Yeah, like it, it, it makes sense. Discord server. Yeah, it's us themed in a way. It's a joke, LeBron. No, I'm not. We are Speedway. Speedway, thank you. Speedway. I like how the <laughs> other one turned into just the Destiny Two server, though. It's yeah. Kind of <laughs> the second yeah. Destiny Two server. Yeah, the second Destiny, Destiny, Destiny Two server. You know, I'll post the D Two boys. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. I, that's the one I know. So it's D Two boys now, right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't even use it. It's my server. <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone, because the people, the people we invited to play Destiny with are more that you know are randoms women in the LFG. Are in that server. I'll just use this one. Like Duck's in that one. I love Duck. The new guy. Yeah, he just said another. Duck sent another family guy. Duck sees a family guy image and he sends it out. He knows right where to send it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Matt left the other server again. Yeah, he doesn't want to be in just the Destiny server. I mean, that's fair. Lol. I mean, I wouldn't either, man. (laughs) I mean, I'm surprised Andy's still in it. I don't. I see. Andy's only in here. Andy just. I swear, Andy doesn't really know how to use Discord. It feels like. No. (laughs) No. Definitely not. How do you guys feel about this? Oh my god! Fuck what I was. I'm just gonna leave that one. All right. Okay. I like talking about Discord though. Damn. All right. Okay. Never mind, Alex. I guess we're talking about something new. I wasn't. I was done. I guess. No. 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 Go back. No. Whatever. It must have been important. (laughs) What you had to say. It must have been really important, right? All right, man. Screw you. (laughs) (laughs) So Nick, Discord. I wouldn't even know what I was saying. Andy but... don't know how to use it. Andy does not. Yeah, know how it, to he's been using it for years, and he still doesn't get it. That's like the leading theory why he's an alien. He just doesn't get <laughs> the technology. Alien, fucking. So wait, Andy's just like the Mark Zuckerberg of fucking. Uh-oh. Yeah, that implies he's Andy's somewhat smart. Is. That's why he's a businessman. Andy has good ideas. I wouldn't say Andy's dumb. I don't Andy know. When we asked him to play league Andy's earlier, really he said, uh, "No girls." I like Andy. <laughs> as a response, he's not the bright. He's yeah. I don't. He is somehow the one of the sharper knives I've met, but also one of the dullest crayons I've ever met. It doesn't make any like, goddamn sense. Like when we had that cookout and Andy was there, he was sometimes he was spinning some knowledgeable stuff, but then also <laughs> sometimes he talks like like a cartoon character. Like he talks like Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah butter toast. And he has two modes. <laughs> and he's like either super smart or butter toast. There is the uh, talking with other white people voice, and then there's the talking with the homies voice. <laughs> yes. It's a noticeable switch. Andy discre- telling me what scrum is, whatever the fuck that means, and then yeah. Andy telling me about League of Legends. Very different moods. Yes, sir. Yeah, see what he's talking about, stuff like that. He's super like knowledgeable and just talks like a whole bunch. Like he knows deep info about a whole bunch of different stuff. Business. Then he turns around and pulls out the League of Legends tier list. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) He puts his Wukong support at S plus Q. Yeah, that man. That man goofy, but I love that man. Andy (laughs) is one of my tweets about. I love Andy. Yeah, Andy is one of my favorite people just because of how Man. two different people. Like he's I, I love his Twitter. I grilled yeah, Andy yeah, for talk for bring it for using communism as a conversation starter to get girls. Oh Man, I was God. clowning him for him. It worked. <laughs> I don't know how it worked, but I guess it worked. He kind of spit the facts. Yeah, he's Wait, got a girl. How, far it worked. how did it work, Devin? I don't know. Andy's got a girlfriend now. That's what he always start with. He talked about the Andy. Con- Andy oh. be like, Andy said, bitches love communism. And I didn't. I'm like, all right, Andy, whatever the fuck are you Just talking about? Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. And then he about. fucking, I, I was, I'm like, oh, he's got a girlfriend. Wow. I mean, I clearly he has girls. girls. See, but then no Andy, girls. <laughs> no girls. See, but then he, he'll also do shit like on his Instagram. We'll just post a picture of noodles with no caption. It's noodles. like, okay, thanks, Andy. I was like on his Twitter, his most recent tweet. The movie A Quiet Place should be called Quiet Noise. Quiet Noise. <laughs> I don't know what to make it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that means. What was he thinking? <laughs> what, are you, what, are you what are you posting this? <laughs> That's why Andy's my favorite person, the homie mm-hmm. folks, is when it's like, Brain no thinky time. He did just Andy is pure entertainment. You love to see it's even Andy more fun when he gets drunk too. It's a very fun and strange <laughs> mix of no, the two. Absolutely. Like remember when we were hanging out at Lucas Park? He just took his shirt off for no reason. Like, he had no <laughs> reason to do that. And then hung it too. And then they started Hulk talking took about off I think it was more Kinder. than just a shirt. 
They yeah, were talking then, about party stuff. Yeah, Hung's he, he takes off everything. He, loves he took the off show. his but pants. Then, but then as soon as uh never mind, I don't think I should say that on the podcast. Uh oh. <laughs> to be fair, I don't Uh-oh. think we should have had a te- five minute conversation about Andy on the podcast, but here we are. <laughs> why? Okay, Wait. it's all out of respect. He's it's funny. all you're right, okay. it is all out of respect. I love Andy. Yeah, we're talking about how much we really love him. Funny. Andy is one of my favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck I is <laughs> We gotta get Andy on the podcast. We We do. Also, when Andy swears, it's one of my favorite because it doesn't feel right. (laughs) Is it like when Lucas says some uh, some stuff? Yeah, like when Lucas Uh, talks in slang. uh, Yes, I get. uh, Yeah, I don't uh, doubt that he knows it. it. My what? I I was actually what Lucas Swaga, but that that felt really bad. (laughs) No, like when when Lucas says no cap. No cap, son. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he just sounds like a dad when he says. I mean, that. I'm just a baller. You wouldn't understand. What Lucas was, what was the rap rapper. verse you wanted Lucas to read uh, that one time? Oh, oh uh, uh, the mood swings by Pop Smoke. <laughs> yeah, that one. Shoddy, I know Shadi a baddie. He be putting me through mood swings. Yes, sir. I'm gonna not put that on the podcast though. That's that'll be too much pain for rewatching later. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It'll be great for everybody but you. All right, exactly. well, here's the ultimatum: say that or do a quagmire impression. You know, Mario, I was just gonna mention the quagmire because well, one exactly or the other. Thing. I can't do a quagmire impression. I don't know <laughs> your, how this started. Your quagmire impression is so good, <laughs> Lucas. It's, it's really started, good, Lucas. It started that day you'd be watching. Right. Uh, give us, you'd give be. Us a, no, hold on. I gotta explain the context. Oh my god, the Family Guy day. No, me and Lucas oh, no. spent 12 hours watching <laughs> just Family Guy together. No breaks, and we weren't even enjoying it. We did it out of spite, but we couldn't stop. And, and you I had your revolving to... guests coming in and out every once in a while. Yeah, yeah everyone would keep joining. It was like yeah. a podcast, but we were watching Family Guy. Yeah, different people showed up at different yeah. times. Nick's I... energy that whole day was on a downward trend, <laughs> and the next day, like, tried to at Nick, hey, how you doing? Just like nothing. He was dead. <laughs> You'd get online, read the message. I don't even want to respond to this. I, I got nothing to say. I don't, I don't, I don't that like that. I asked, is, Luke, the day after, I just keep watching Family Guy after I left. Yes. Like, yeah, exactly. No, remember, because we got to midnight and we started at like nine in the morning. Yeah, oh, you definitely did. We got to midnight and my internet refused to come oh. back up because we were watching family like, like no everything would connect like my playstation to watch like netflix right uh-huh. my was... computer refused to connect to internet that night it was Too actually more probably like ago. noon or one o'clock probably because i remember yeah. your computer went off around midnight 1 a.m because i remember i was getting ready for work when you guys were had been watching family guy for already an hour at that point <laughs> yeah and then we know, yeah, you went to work at like two, right, or two or three. Yeah, I work. I I went to work. And at you two. came back and there was family. That's, yeah. that's when we started watching, and you got off work at eleven, and we were still watching. To be fair, the I was same while session. I was at work. I was in the VC watching Family Guy too. Yeah. Yeah. Full day of Family Guy, and that was Speedway work, not uh, office work. And that's when I asked Lucas to do his infamous and talented Quagmire impression. That's so good. So Lucas, give us a demonstration. See, it's like every time I do it, it's like, what the fuck does Quagmire sound like again? <laughs> what do you mean? You do a perfect impression, Lucas. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Lucas, it's so good. I, I'm going to have to listen to it because I've never heard myself do it. <laughs> be the new voice actor. Yeah, you so finally bad. have a recording yeah, of what it sounds like. The new it sounds so bad do in it. my ear, but, you know, oh, you God, know the voice dude. sounds different in the recording, so maybe it's all right. No, it's <laughs> terrible. It's, it's amazing. So I love when you do it. It's, it's something. so Who else but Quagmire? Yeah. Who else do but Kermit? Lucas? Do Kermit. Who else but Lucas? Look, it's too Kermit. Well, it's, it's not Kermit the Frog. It's Dutch <laughs> Kermit. Do Dutch Kermit. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Lucas it's, is it's never going to want to watch this podcast. <laughs> No, it's gonna be a bad one to rewatch. Like, I mean, the other ones for you. Trends, the K-pop. Oh my god, this is gonna be my favorite one to watch. Oh. <laughs> we really are just children. Oh, that's so oh my good. god. The start of Luke's voice acting oh. career. So, has anybody the watched the new Space Jam acting. two movie? No, I have not. Uh, hold on, that, there's a story. I am arguing with Hung and uh, James. 
Yeah. They're trying to justify buying tickets to go see that when we can no. watch it for free in the VC. I literally yeah. already I have HBO Max. I could just stream it. I, I do not want to. I, I do don't not give the money. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to pay to watch that. Like I understand <laughs> wanting to go to the movie theater, yeah. but no, I'm not right, going Space to Jam too. That movie uh, in particular. Why would I want to watch bad. the damn movie when they took away Lola Bunny's titties? Silence, yeah, Murray. That, that has nothing to do with it. Rick and Morty are in that movie. Yeah. Wait, really? No, the funny Big man. Chungus yeah. is in that movie. I think yeah, the... I saw on Twitter someone said a Mogus reference in the movie, but I'm not sure oh, how clear that one is. Oh, God, God, I hope. Right see, no, 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 see, no. that's what. See, I don't get what's saying. It's it could be funny in the moment. But it's gonna age so bad. Yeah, I can still watch the space, the first Space Jam movie, no problem. Space, see, that's yeah. like I saw a great explanation, right? Like I don't. Okay, I'm. We're saying this. I still haven't seen the movie, right? Sure. Yeah. But Space Jam One, the focus of the movie was the Looney Tunes. Mm-hmm. But Space Jam Two, it's all about LeBron. Oh, like they're focusing I... on the wrong. Like the first movie was, oh, the Looney Tunes uh, need basketball. Oh, let's get Michael Jordan. He's good. This one is uh, LeBron bad. Oh, look, Looney Tunes are here. It doesn't help that I also strongly that. dislike LeBron James. Yeah, but that's my own I problem. Really watch, uh, I don't really watch basketball. You wanna, you wanna explain why you hate LeBron? Oh, he's just a, com- a Chinese communist that, like, shill. No disrespect. You say that's that fair. like Evan watches basketball. Okay. Evan dislikes the person, and I don't blame him. China yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, there is an. He's, he'd be like oh. BLM though, and someone's oh, like, "What about Hong yeah. Kong? What about the Uyghurs?" And he goes, "Oh, I think I should be more informed about that one." But BLM though, like I bro. like LeBron, the basketball player. Yeah, there totally is an Amogus reference in Space Jam too. I fucking <laughs> there he knew is. It. He, it's gonna age so bad. But it's like I heard it, it was like a meme a minute. If this is just like uh, the Emoji movie, it's gonna age terribly. Man. It's oh, all. Hey. It's, it's Emo- the emoji movie again, was aged the day it came out. It's a movie made to be seen only in a certain year. Which is yeah. literally yeah. a kids' movie. The year after, like no, like the the day after it came out, it was already dated. Yeah, man, I did not enjoy watching the emoji movie. I do not remember anything about the emoji movie. I just hey, remember Patrick Stewart well, was the in whole, it. The whole reason we watched the emoji movie was just to be ironic about it. I mean, we knew it was going to be a fucking. I terrible. own the emoji movie. Thank Thank God. We should watch that again. Thank <laughs> God I never watched the emoji movie. You know, we should we do, did, we did watch it. We should basement. watch the emoji movie well oh. under the influence of something. I, I agree. Oh, my God. That'd okay, be funny. Fine. <laughs> okay, fine. No, you can't say it on the podcast. But I mean, weed or so alcohol. The audio people. I feel like there's a lot of better movies I haven't seen yet that I'd like to. Yeah, I like to watch. I like when me and Lucas watch like uh, not just meme movies. All it's right. like real good movies that there, I just haven't seen yet. Is there any like movies that are like coming out you guys are looking forward to? I kind of. Uh, I don't see the thing is I don't one. I don't pay attention to new movies. Like I, I don't I, know what's I coming feel... out. I still really like, like the most the I get is stuff. just ads on YouTube. I the only really movie like Marvel stuff, so I'm kind of looking yeah, forward I've... to watching. <laughs> Literally, I've only seen um, Avengers and like I think uh, Winter Soldier. I think that's like the majority of what I've seen of those. You haven't watched the other one? I don't watch movies. Damn. Black Widow was gotta eat. Was it? Cap, that movie yeah. is terrible. Mm, I, just <laughs> really... I I know movies can be good. I just they're not like my favorite to watch. I All respect right, them. I know how good they are. I just. Uh, I, uh, I'd rather to... use my time doing something else. Nick, yeah. I, there's a question I wanted to ask you in the Discord, but you never responded to me. I gotta ask this question to you in person, in person. Okay. Kind of I thing. added. That's why I added you last night to ask what the question was. But I, it was still gonna post. be. It was still gonna just be a shit post. Nick, do you call yourself a gamer? Oh no, not anymore. Okay, because my follow-up question not... is: Do you play any other game besides Destiny Two? Uh, 2K. That's it. I'm not a gamer anymore. Okay. I only play three games total. I I, no. I honest question. I don't think I've been a gamer since middle school. Honest question says a statement. Shut up. You know, English major. (laughs) Silence. English major. We well we we got what you were trying to say. We understood what you're trying. I mean, yeah. I don't even play Pokemon games anymore. I'm I'm a failure. I I well, I feel like that's that's to be fair though. I I don't think that's on you. I think that's on Pokemon. I do yeah, it's not too hard not to play Pokemon anymore. I, I, I do like want to get like a. Game, so like I just never played. Any, any I still do want to get Mario Golf though. 
playing golf. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that does look good. I like playing golf every once in a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Golf? Like golf Mario games. Golf. Golf oh, games. Mario Golf. Golf games. Why don't we Kinda get nice. uh? What are, what's that famous golf game that a bunch of those YouTubers yeah. play? Friends. Oh, oh, we have that. We have it before. We have golf. Or golf it. it, it yeah. We have I golf. Think it. Go to work. We have Never golf it. it. No, it was just people on like laptops couldn't play it. Oh know. yeah, because it, it, I it I own both. Back. Yeah, yeah, I own both. We tried both of them. The first one we tried was ass, so we moved to the other one. Because I remember I refunded the first one and then got the other one. Because once again, I think it was oh, yeah. on, on people's laptops. It was really terrible. It just yeah, run yeah, so yeah. bad. But I'm a gamer now. I mean, no. When I, gamer, that might have been think, James's laptop, so, though. Lucas, I think yours had any, issues, too. Is there any other games? Yeah. Golf uh, with your friends and golf it. I forgot. Golf I forget, it is one we own. I for, is, I think golf with your friends is supposed to be the good one though. Yeah, oh. it was the it was the first one. It was supposed to be the good one, but golf it ended up better because yeah. that game like they. Because I think the developers they, actually uh you uh tried to uh they actually work on the other one. Yeah. Mm. And like, there's like community maps as well too. Mm-hmm. Like I know at one point I tried to play a community map of Lucas. It was a. Uh... I forgot what it was, but it was uh, it was pretty fun. I'm downloading golf at right this mm -hmm. moment. All right, but let me watch and then uh, like more Scooby Doo movies, before, fellas. Came out before. Uh, You're right after All right. <laughs> golf with your friends actually came out. I still am deeply upset with Brandon after calling the Cyber Chase the worst of those four Scooby Doo movies. That yeah, I'm not over it. And I he think, said he'd never watched watch... him. Like, what the fuck is that man's problem? I, I think I only watched. The he one said he was the, trolling. Uh, he might have been. No. Uh, Sorry. I don't blame him. No, I no. Yeah, you go. You don't live with him. With how angry and upset he was, he was not trolling. Uh -oh. He's doing that thing. I'm trolling just so people will get off him for it. Uh oh. He wants people oh. to stop talking about it. He did a thing where he. I, I will give him. He probably just said the first part. He said it at first to fuck with me. And then I started calling him out for it, and then he just he just went down with the ship. That's uh, that that's tough, man. Yeah. But anyway, he's uh, not a good troll. Then probably, probably no. shouldn't talk about this then on the podcast. What Scooby? Well, we talked about Andy no, 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 for like five minutes. I mean, is that podcast? where you draw? If I want to say that one of my friends is not a good troll, I'll say he's not a good troll. See, the thing <laughs> is, is, it's not like Mario wouldn't say that to Brandon. It's not like Mario would keep that. He would say that to his face. Like, you are bad. We are Brandon's gonna Brandon be the one disliked. What is... Egg on? Eggman. No. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> See? Simply telling him. There we go. Now we have liberty to do what we want. Ruthless. Okay. The issue with movies is there's, like, not a whole lot of good movies coming out. See, I don't know that. I don't even know. Unless they're, like, movies. super deep indie movies. I mean, that's why I want to just watch old movies. Like, I, I've not seen a lot of old movies. Yeah, that's why I do, like, too. It's like, uh, yeah. with the homies, I'll do it. I just won't do it on my own. You know, yeah, like, I want to watch more John Carpenter that movies. I haven't, uh, just... That I haven't actually seen yet. Lucas. Um, Lucas. Yeah. Let's watch the original Halloween. That's a good movie. All right, all right. Oh, I want to watch that too. Oh yeah, Lucas. That's when are we? Movie. When are we watch? When 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 are we gonna get together and watch the next of that uh that horror movie? Oh yeah, we me me Devin and Brandon watched some shitty like Netflix horror movie that had like three movies in it. But the oh. problem is, it's bad, but not bad enough to make me not want to watch the next one. What was it called, if you remember? Uh, like, uh, Fear Street 19... Fear Street. Oh, my oh, God. I, I, I've heard, heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that. Fear Street. We I only watch it because it... of some... Brandon follow someone on Twitter who he said it was good, and then the first five minutes of the movie, I came with the determination that this movie was not good, and that man on Twitter <laughs> was a fucking liar. We oh, it, 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 was, uh, it was made by R.L. Stein. Oh, the, yeah, the original came to yeah, life. The original, uh, right? The original that they adapted it from was written by R.L. Stein, and it, it all came together. Like that's why After this is terrible. After we watched the movie, Devin looked it up, and he said, oh, "Lucas, guess who the author is." And just the way he said it, I knew, like, "Oh fuck, it's R.L. Stein, isn't it?" <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just able to guess just the way De Devin uh, said, "Oh fuck, who's this?" <laughs> I know who the author is. It's gotta bro. be some fella. Apparently, they according like... to Brandon's friends, all three movies in the series are supposed to be like different kinds of genres of horror movies. 
Although, I'm yeah, not sure if I believe in that trash. one. Garbage, <laughs> trash, and poo-poo. There was only one scene where I was genuinely shocked that I was watching it in the entire in the end that entire uh, movie. Yeah, it's just right at the end, two of the main yeah. characters just died one after the oh, other. Oh, crazy! Boy, boy. Boy. Are you guys gonna watch the movie? No, well, that's what I fucking thought. Probably not. No, well, I, I, mean, I, I watch it with the homies, it. Lamont. It's like two hours long. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it is quite long. It seems like. Yeah. And that's only movie one. The other two movies were slightly longer. I'm you watched all of them? Too. No, no, we just the first. We need to watch the cup. The next two. I mean, I'll yeah, watch. the cliffhanger at the end. I was like, oh, oh, okay, I'm a bit more interested. Yeah. I'll watch the second one. Lamar, I don't need context. I think the Whoa. second one, there literally is no tying theme. For if you, From what I gathered, you could probably watch the second one without having to need to watch the first one. You'll just be missing some context. I mean, the second one but takes it's, place before the first one. Yeah, but it's not, like, it's not like we just can't explain to you what happened because... Whatever you're missing, it's it's like oh because X Y and Z happened. And you're like oh okay mm. cool. It's they're not it's not a good movie, and I am excited but not excited to watch it. <laughs> I'm intrigued by some of the story hooks. Oh, Nick, when are we watching the original Halloween? Uh, I'll do like tomorrow. I'll do it whenever. I'd be down. I'm I must admit I did watch it recently at my brother's birthday because he likes horror movies, and it's like yeah we're gonna watch horror movies all day. Old horror movies are really good. All horror mm-hmm. movies are funny. Well, even the ones that are like kind of parody, but it's like they don't use CG. Mm, I, yeah, like, I love practical effects. Yeah, the practical ones that are cheap, it's just good for like the, uh, it's just the uh, people just decided we're going to make a movie. Don't care if it's good. When are we watching scary movies? Like too? CG, it just. Yeah, it it's even out. like so the CG movies from 2011 are bad looking now. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like Black Panther. Was the, the end of Black Panther was like some of the worst CG I've seen in some time. Like I was stunned. Like the 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 whole like first three quarters of the movie, it looked all right, and then like right at the final fight, of the it movie, was absolutely Whoa, terrible. That rhino really there, huh? Or like <laughs> this train sequence? Oh my god! This definitely yeah. looks like it's on the 2011 green screen. Speaking of I, train sequences, Invincible. Oh, good oh, show. Uh, Train. Good Great show. show. We watch it together. Yeah. I cannot wait for the next season. Hey, that was Man. really exciting. I I was so mad I had to go pick up my parents from the airport. We had to stop watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, see, then I remember it was like, oh, the second day we started watching, like, oh, we'll just watch a couple and then we just watch the rest of the series. Yeah, yeah why like, not? Just, uh... just so hooked. The next, uh, we can, yeah, Lemonhead, I like your way of thinking. Let's talk about Invincible, something that we can actually talk about, a dedicated discussion on this podcast. Oh, oh my God, I love that. Everything about that show is just great. <laughs> For uh, anybody who might be watching this that isn't just well, us and who hasn't seen me. Invincible, it, this is spoilers. <laughs> so, oh. no, so I got a comment today from a random stranger on my Doki Doki Literature Club Side Stories Part 1 video saying, oh, really? FYI, this is glorious, and then they deleted the comment. Oh. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. I was like, oh, I would have totally pinned that comment and gave it a like, though. I was so sad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see there's a comment, but I can't see it. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, I was that, looking you. at the videos that said two comments. It's just mine down there. I was confused. Yeah, it's all, no one gave it a like. Some of them are Jose's, and they're just gone. But anyway, uh, Invincible. Uh, what happened to Jose? Good you question. You were at a hospital or something? What? Yeah, what did happen to Jose? Yeah, I Invincible. Know. I don't think we know the answer. I love Jose, but Invincible. <laughs> okay. Invincible so, Invincible. Did, how many of you guys knew kind of the twist that was coming in the first I episode? The twist was I, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. expect. Yeah. I expect. Well, the it. thing is, is I knew the the I knew most of it because I've watched stuff about like the comic before the show came out. Oh. So I, I kind of knew the gist of what's going to happen. We knew he's evil. But yeah. it's still watching it's like, oh, this is so good. Like, even I, if you know, it's still fun to watch and see how he acts. Like, every, everything just, went so well the first just, episode that I expected something to go wrong at a, at some point. The, the thing is, like, coming coming into Invin- watching Invincible, I, mean, I, I, like, watched The Boys. And, like, so, so when I saw, like, the first episode of Invincible... And I saw it was on Amazon Prime. I was like, "There's got to be something to this, man. Like, it's just got that. It's just got that aura. It's just got that that feel, that vibe, you know." So it's like, so like when that happened, I was like, "Oh shit!" 
<laughs> there uh, it the, is. The fighting scenes Called in it. that show are so excellent. They're was, just so well done. I was one of those people who... I only knew that there was supposed to be a twist at some point during the show. Oh, yeah, Brandon oh. just said it's a good show, but you know, Brandon is like a good show. This man li- likes whatever that fucking duty ass doesn't animated like movie Scooby-Doo. doesn't like Scooby Doo and something about <laughs> something Fern Fergal or whatever. I can't remember Fern Gully. Oh, that's what yeah. it is. So I don't trust that man's opinions a lot on animated shows. So I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm bored. I need something to watch. Watch this, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of this is all right, but this definitely is kind of boring. In the last five minutes, I'm like, okay, this is definitely a good show. And we're on the roll. I do think it was better than The Boys. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. The Boys, this is by far much better than The Boys. They were trying to be too really? gritty. I fucking love The Boys the entire way through. Well, season like two, it. season I, two, I I'd that. say, is weaker than season yeah, the one, thing is, season well, two is definitely weaker okay. than, than season one. I have one. not watched yeah. The Boys. Either have I. But honestly, I know. Honestly, you should definitely watch The Boys. It's very good. I've Mommy talked to Devin about it. There's just yes. a thing with... <laughs> If what based on what Devin said, what who I said that about it's too gritty. What uh, I said that, yeah. I think Lucas, that was, yeah. See, that's contrast. What think about Invincible? Like it doesn't feel like it's a super brutal show just to be brutal. No, it's just brutal it's because just oh, brutal because that's what happens. Brutal. Because oh, that is just what would happen. Yeah, realistically, it, it's just like oh, it's just like a, a cartoon, like oh, superheroes, but with like, realistic uh, uh, repercussions. Uh, Time to gore an entire uh, train of people. Yeah, I felt like it. Like uh, the boys was pretty realistic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it wasn't like too unrealistic. I just no. felt like um, the yeah, one I Australian like, guy or whatever. I felt like that's so, exactly uh, how things would play so out. Australians don't exist. Uh, what, whatever like that was English exactly guy. how that, that that kind of stuff would play out. B- Butcher, Billy Butcher, that's his name. Yeah, Billy Butcher. It's like... oh, I fucking love Carl Urban in that show, dude. I, oh, he's so good. He's like he's they. So he's a bit unre like for a real person. It's co- very unreasonable, in my opinion. I don't know, man. I've met some very, very, very bitter people, so like I could totally see that. I mean, so have I, but that doesn't mean I like it. I I don't like those people. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, we're not supposed to like them, yeah. No. I mean, I just think uh, Invincible did it better. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And I love Invincible. That, that is a very uh, that is a very understandable opinion. I was I, I was I'm personally of the opinion that I I, I like the boys more though. I was a lot like Lucas oh. when I saw there's a Seth Rogen cameo in it. I was oh very, God, I was so afraid. Bad. I was afraid. You fits the character so well. And then I saw the cameo, and I didn't even realize it was Seth Rogen until I'm like, wait, that was the cameo. What the fuck? Dude, the casting for that show feels like it's Phenomenal. like made up how good it's, it feels like it's made up how good it is. Because uh, the guy who made Invincible, he's the same writer who did The Walking Dead. So yeah. the guy, he just rehired a lot of the same actors from The Walking Dead. And all to the voice actors act. are good. Yeah, and then he, a lot of the characters in the show were different from the comics because he just changed how the uh, show characters were to more fit with the voice actors. Uh, like mm. Amber was white even, in the comics. Uh, yeah. Mm. And fuck then, Amber, by the way. Yeah, fuck that bitch. She is uh, she a rat bastard. And then. <laughs> There's a lot of other ones, but the other big one is uh, Mark's gay friend. He's just straight, and a lot of people say that. It, really, it yeah. makes sense that he's gay. It works so well. Yeah, and in the people say that in the comics, this friend was like really boring and one of the least interesting characters in the show. Yeah, now he's now great. as a now, like, now oh. as a super gay dude, he's a lot more interesting, and it's like yeah, it's, it's like it shows how important writing is. He's not just oh the gay character. He's a character who's he's gay. a real person. Yeah. yeah. I love gay characters. I love gay characters well. too, baby. Man, you guys didn't have to get silent <laughs> after that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you guys I was thinking know. about whether <laughs> saying <laughs> something or not. Like, yeah. You guys ain't had to do me like longer. that. If anyone's going to yeah. say anything, I won't. <laughs> just, yeah, let that one, just let that one. <laughs> just going to let that one marinate for a minute. <laughs> you know, it gets better with the longer the pause. <laughs> the longer the pause, the better the payout. Yeah. <laughs> Man, y'all, y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> Think that's you yourself. Okay, but quick question: We all love Invincible, right? Oh what my god! What was your god, least yeah. favorite part of the show besides Amber? Uh, uh, like that, that you crazy. that you didn't like either from a story perspective or like the actual show perspective, like the voice yeah. acting of a certain character or a concept in the show. The only thing um, is, it's not a big deal. Is sometimes the background characters like, oh, that's clearly just a, huh. 
Like, it just looks like a poorly drawn thing just to save time. But I get... Like, I, there, like remember there's some parts where, like, a city's being destroyed. And, like, you can see the the uh, the civilians are just, like, a, a JPEG. A JPEG oh, moving yeah. across the screen. Like, the, yeah, it's the like, Photoshop oh, uh, uh-huh. videos. Or, like, they yeah. really just put the money into all the important parts. It works. I mean, it's like, huh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not like it takes me away. It's just like, huh, that's there. Yeah, it's not as bad as, like, anime, where the yeah. main characters it, are, like, frozen. Yeah. Something that I wish it kind of touched on was when it, it mentioned, like, when, like, like Damien's gone, and then it talks about, like, you hear him again, like, and, like, oh, in the, in the, the closet. In the closet, and it just doesn't address that at all. For Isn't that in the last episode? That's in, like, the episode, uh, the end it's of the episode that awarded. he was banished in. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, I think it's like, oh, that's He's like cliffhanger. The way no, I yeah, the so way I saw just, it is no, I yeah. You go, Wait, the I'll way I go the way I saw it that it, it wasn't like him saying he's still there. He probably the way I imagined it, and I might be wrong, but he just planted it on the uh, in in there so she could find it or whatever. Because I think he planted a book in there so Debbie could find it. Right? If I remember that right. I, I or no that no in the closet. That's like when she found. Uh... When she, when she like uh, looked around and saw like the clothes or something. Yeah. No, I, that was like on the ceiling, like on the like. He did something ledge. in that. What did he do in the closet? I thought he, he left her. I, I thought he left his oh, book. No, wait. What well, the closet was after? They had like an argument where she was kind of calling him out, but she didn't know yet or something, right? They were like just having an argument. It's like, oh, he's there, like watching. We don't know. See, I took it as like, oh, he's gone, but like the story's not over, bro. He like, he's gonna come back. He's also a demon, oh, yeah, so you know, probably. he's just not in the physical realm. He's uh, yeah. like a ghost like, uh, demon now, you know? Yeah, it's like, like a phobia de- demon. Like ah, uh, adult. Or, like yeah, like his story. It's like uh, it's on pause mode. But the, living room. the one thing I didn't like about Invincible was that what the character from the where he made the robot men, the robot people. Yeah, the how, Miller. Yeah, how inconsistent those uh, robot people are in terms of like power. Cause, Strength. Yeah, because like yeah. he they they fuck up Mark really bad, and then they fuck up Omni Man. But then like five minutes later, Omni Man in the same fight just kind of immediately dusts the robot people. Like what what? Why didn't you just do? Why didn't you just do this from the start? You're going. You're I mean, trying like, to. No, I think it's like oh, Omni Man. He's like he just adapts perfectly to beat everybody. Well, it's like the immortal. Like he has, he has no chance against Omni Man, but at the same time, he can still get some punches in. Yeah, like yeah, like they're not strong enough to beat him, but they can still do damage to him. But it feels like he easily could just blow up, like that other scene where he was just literally destroying that entire uh, the Flaxine planet. Well, I feel yeah, like that was crazy. they're a bit inconsistent with how powerful <laughs> they're trying yeah, yeah. to show us. That's Omni-Man. what I was going to say. They're trying to just say, oh, Omni Man is super strong, but they're trying to also be like, oh, but he's like, you can still beat him. So they're kind of trying, like, it's a struggle. How strong do you make him in certain moments? It just feels, you know I mean? it feels like they could probably do better making that a bit more consistent. So like, I get if you're trying to, to show that to the other characters in the show, but we're the audience here. Anyway, 10 out of 10 for Invincible. Actually, 9 out oh. of 10. Uh, I have 10 out of 10 for me. I'm just gonna say it's good. Definitely Leave it at yeah, that. I mean, Maybe just, uh, a, actually, I don't know. It's, a, it's a great show. Oh, it is it better than good. I so I very much look forward to future seasons. All right. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna be a yeah, yeah. Season two is definitely gonna be a freaking hit. Watch out for when that comes out. So Andy's meme company, right? No, please, no, stop, <laughs> no. stop. I don't uh, want to hear it. About it. You guys watch, uh, Have you guys watched any of the Disney Plus shows? Uh, nope. I've it's seen quite a bit of Disney Plus shows. So like same, but I, don't, I haven't uh, seen like anything. Well, the, well, the Marvel ones and all of them. And the Star Wars ones. Uh, I'm watching Loki. Yep. I've and seen I, all I of think them. I you saw like, something the other like, day that they're coming out with like a Star like a Star Wars anime, at some point this year. Um, oh, that sounds fucking great! Like, actually, like on Disney Plus, it looked kind of uh, it could look kind of kind of. I remember. I don't remember exactly what the show is actually I have about. Not, I've not heard. Sorry, of it. I don't watch Disney. I only watch Dragon Maid. They already made the perfect Star Wars anime and the the old yeah, Clone 2003 Wars. Star Wars The Clone Wars that's facts. Oh yeah, my Star god. Wars that is Wars still Wars. it's only like half an hour long too altogether. But it's oh, so man. good. Oh. It's the like Bad Batch dark. is pretty all right. You guys been watching it's Bad like, Batch? It's uh It's all right. I, yeah, it's it's not it's not that great. Uh right now it's it's like my filler show to like hold the me past, up for uh, uh 
the past couple episodes on Ryloth, those are oh, definitely Ryloth my one. favorite episodes yeah. of the entire show. Yeah, the Ryloth one. Mostly because it's not following the main characters, because, you the know, last... the Kiwi the character is really goddamn last... annoying. I hate her voice, but, you know, the, whatever. Um, the, uh, the, the very last one that we just watched, uh, I'm not going to lie, it was the, probably the most boring one I've watched. I don't think I've watched. seen the most recent one yet. Uh, nope. It was it was really boring. Um, I kind of just, like, was on my phone the entire time. But who here but, hasn't seen The Mandalorian yet? Mandalorian's great. I, I haven't continued from where I left it. off. Yeah, you I couldn't get into it. Into it. I oh, watched, yeah, you were watching on iFunny. That's yes, another sir. show I watched all in one go. The Mandalorian? Yeah. Did you watch season two? That's not out yet, is it? Oh, yeah. Season wait, two is out. Yeah. yeah. Wait, how, I don't even remember if I have. Hold on. I got to look at the episode <laughs> list. Was the, uh, was the episode with... The Bill Burr episode was a season one, right? The Bill Burr episode. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I remember it because there's the... Uh, I won't spoiler. I won't say it. Yeah, season two, since Lucas hasn't seen it, I don't want to... Returning go character season. who's very popular. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Bill yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, no, the other one. No, my no, fault, the my other fault. one. The one, the, the, the <laughs> actor from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right, 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 right. I got you, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is terrible, by the way. I haven't yeah. watched it. <laughs> but Loki, if you guys want to watch movie. a good Marvel show, Loki's really I, good. Loki, Loki is so good. I yes, especially after WandaVision and fucking uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That was not. I ain't watched either of those, but I watched Loki. You can skip WandaVision, actually. Yeah, you can kind of skip WandaVision. Uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier is pretty uh pretty good. If you're still into Marvel, you might want to watch WandaVision because it's set. Because I'm I'm still one of the, I'm a, I'm a it was I my dad. Grew me up watching Marvel. Marvel. Tard. Yeah, Marvel Loki, Tard. Loki and Marvel simp. happen concurrently. Not simp, because I will gladly call a Marvel movie terrible. Oh, okay. What's the worst yeah. one? Um, the first Captain America. And eh. it's, it's a tie between that and Captain Marvel. Yeah, I, oh. I can see, I can see yeah. why you would hate. I hate the women. First <laughs> Captain America movie. I liked it. Uh, yeah. I like it as a like a period. Like World, though. But for concepts, oh my god, that just reminded me of something funny I heard at work. Oh, that old dude just saying he hates when women are happy. That was like, oh, <laughs> what bro, the fuck? That's oh, pretty man. based. <laughs> what this man's like actually based? Yes, sir. He was kind of joking, but I know he meant that shit. <laughs> Damn. It was in his heart. That was so funny. But you you don't have to watch Captain America and the Winter Soldier. It's terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. The last episode is really terrible. good. I like the last episode, but the story is not great. It really picks up after episode two, but you have to really commit after <laughs> commit to the last movie. episode is still really good. I like the last episode, especially yeah. Anthony Mackie's speech. I thought that was amazing. After uh, after after that uh, that uh, that German dude comes in, <laughs> he's not he's German. German. He's um. No, he's a German. He's Sokovian. Thank you. All right, whatever. So Get your Kofi Marvel knows. knowledge right. He comes yes, from sir. German royalty. That, that's that's what I know. He's, he's Sokovian. Get it right. He said he's Sokovian. Come on, Alex. Right, you got to pay attention to the show. Right. When that Sokovian Big character comes in, yeah. It, you it, said it, Sokovian it, with a hard R, bro. You can't, you can't be doing that. <laughs> Sokovian. <laughs> but I really well, bro, like, the, really I like what the, the end of Loki does because it really just, like, they yes. said, oh, you thought we were, you th like, you thought Thanos was bad? Checkmate, and it's like, oh, I we 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 won up in Thanos really now, huh? But yeah, Thanos was in Fortnite. Back. Yeah, Thanos copter, yeah, Thanos true. copter. There yes, was a Thanos, Thanos copter. copter. <laughs> that was really fucking funny. <laughs> I saw the Thanos <laughs> copter and I fucking lost it. <laughs> Thanos copter. It's just, it's just in a scene, just once. I'm like, wait, is that the Thanos copter? <laughs> I had to pause Thanos and rewind. <laughs> Was it like just a background thing? Kinda, yeah. but they also definitely like they showed it. Like they said, "Here is a Thanos copter," and kept going. <laughs> it was so good! It was so good. It was the real, dumbest real Thanos ever. copter moment. But uh, the romance oh. in that show that was really weird. That was re yeah. I mean, but, it's but like when you a... think about it, like Norse mythology, <laughs> what do you really expect? That's is it Loki? Like normal is, things he's done. Isn't Loki by? Yeah, that's Loki not the point bi. though. That, I know, but not, isn't that a point. thing they made? Yeah, yeah, they said it, and then I mean, I guess there's technically nothing wrong they... with a bisexual person. No, no, I know. I'm just saying, how did they say it though? How did it get revealed? I, I, I need to know. I don't think it was, it was revealed like in show. I think Tom Hiddleston. It, it, 
It's in. It's literally just in the middle of one of the episodes. Like he, yeah. he's like this. He was like, uh, he like men or women. He was just like a uh, little bit of both or something like that. Yeah, a little bit of both. Line oh. was. And, and then, then Tom like, Hiddleston said, "Yeah, Loki's bisexual." Just you think about it. You literally read Norse mythology and you look at Loki. He that fucked a snake. Wild things. And, and a, a and horse. A and a he's horse. Fucked. And a giant. So I mean, he's at that point, a lot of things, man. Loki is a giant. Loki, he, he doesn't even buy, bro. He just in mythology, it. it's really weird what Loki is. It's yes. crazy how Marvel just has Norse mythology in it. Yeah, I want to see Tyr. Show me Tyr. Checkmate pagan, your your gods are owned by Disney. Yeah. Checkmate, <laughs> gods are owned by the big mouse. <laughs> yeah, but God of War they're on Disney gonna, Plus. They're just gonna freaking Wait, copyright Kratos on Disney Plus. I need a God of War in the Thanos copter. Kratos copter. Kratos Kratos copter. Kratos copter. Kratos copter. Kratos copter. But Alex, I predict I predicted who the main villain of the uh, Loki series was in the first I episode. I felt terrible. good about that one. I, I'm terrible. Oh, uh, I was going to say who is it, but that'd be a spoiler. Yeah, because I'm going to finish this. Like, it's if a... you're a Marvel tard like myself, it feels very obvious. Um, but if yeah. you're not, but it's... I'm not a Marvel tard. I yeah. just like the shows and the movies. Because they've, they've been and setting it up very clearly before... And then it's like, oh, they did it. I have, the can't see it. Like, it is. The actor was pretty cool. I thought he played it pretty well. Oh, no, yeah, the act, he was, that was a phenomenal episode. That was like the best episode of Disney TV show Marvel stuff that they ever did. Mostly I just because all the, all, all all the actors so involved in that scene was fantastic. All of Loki was really good. I'm not going to lie to you. I was never really a big fan of Loki as a character like up until like, this show came out. I never he really was sexy. Liked him very much. That's why I was into him. Right. Also, Nick, Bruh. I DM'd you who the villain oh. is. If you know what that is. I don't Loki, think that means Loki anything to Nick. <laughs> Wait, I feel like that means it, nothing to him. Send it to me because I think I might be near that part. Uh, no, I just watched the last episode. Bro. Have you seen direct spoilers? Last, last episode. I can't remember where I left off, but I've gotten pretty far. Into Are it. you on the last episode? I can check. I mean, if right, he's right. seen Thanos Copter, then he's probably on the last episode. Well, no, Thanos Copter, Copter is in the I second to last episode. We were talking about Fortnite, so I said Thanos Copter. That's the only reason I said that. I think he. I think he just got two episodes left. I Fortnite. I will see. <laughs> Lemon, have you met a black guy yet? Yeah. You seen the bla- you've seen the black guy in the show. Yeah, from Lovecraft Country. That's how that's how I recognized him. From which show? Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country. Country. Lovecraft Country. That that show wow. on HBO Max, a lot of N word. Yeah, I, yeah. I oh yeah, so Lemonhead, he's met the final. He's met the fine the the final the vi- main villain villain in quotation yeah. marks. Yeah, there's, there's just six, right? Yeah, yeah there's six. It. Yeah, I'm in, I'm like in the middle of six. I mean, because I don't think they ever say his name in the episode. They don't say but they don't it's say his name. They just say like what he's not. not he who name, remains. Like called, if that makes sense. Yeah. But his name is Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. Kang is Kang. He is like the. You know, if, he, if you he, if he's if he, me. Yeah, he's black. Uh, but uh, in the in the comics, one of the comics, he was a white kid. But now he's a black guy, which also fits because of another thing in the comics. It's confusing. It's weird timelines, but alternate realities. It's crazy. So he's a he's a classic person. comic Man, books. what are we gonna? So like, what are we gonna Why, do Japanese after Kang? That's the thing. That's books. a great question. What are we doing Devin? after Kang? What's up? Just average people can't get into comic books. I thought we were gonna do Galactus. No. Too much garbage. Uh, Doctor Doom. That's who they're doing after Kang. Come on. Doctor Doom? Doom is gonna be Kang. Is gonna be MF the Doom. Next- Yes, sir. You'd be because I think in the comics, Doctor Doom is supposed to be one of the most powerful and in, uh, imposing yeah. villains in the entire yeah. Marvel mythos. Well, are I mean, they going to get Doctor Doom? Is Chad Four. though? That's the thing. They own <laughs> Fantastic Four. Yeah, He's but a good I mean, I'm, just, I'm just saying, every single Fantastic Four movie has failed. I mean, <laughs> welcome to Marvel. They probably. Like Spider-Man. I mean, they'll yeah. probably find a way, man. Honestly, they'll probably find fire. A way. If but, I, they've already the teased to Doctor Doom, if I remember right. Who he is? They've already teased that Doctor Doom existing. Galactus has already been introduced in some way, not directly, I, but through a lot of threads that they've. I dropped want before. a Galactus and an Eternal show. The there's a, there's an Eternals movie. Yeah, there's an Eternals I want movie. The show. No wait, is it a show? I think it's a show. No, it's a I movie. don't know. I 
I, yeah, so it's a movie coming out. Okay, I think, and then uh, after they do the Eternals, Marvel, that'll Marvel that's a direct tie-in to how they can introduce the X Men into into Marvel. Dude, I feel like I'm listening to a different language. Because yeah, one of the one of the of one characters. of the Eternals directly led to the creation, if I remember right, from what my dad told me, to the X Men. Does the fuck Sony the... own the X Men? Nope, Marvel owns X Men. Who are the Eternals? They're it's they're like people who are they just yeah, another they're... group. They're like a group yeah. of immortals that uh, they they fled from somewhere and then they landed on Earth and they saw humans. They're like, oh, we can't interfere with humans and their evolution whatsoever. We just got to live Yay. ourselves. Yeah, and then they, they of, did exactly what they said they weren't going to do. My entire knowledge of Marvel Comics comes from Death Battle. So they're humans? <laughs> no, they're, they're they immortals. They haven't been involved. No, 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 I, meant, I, meant, I meant they're bad guys or good guys? Low. Some of them are good guys. Some of them are neutral. Some of them are bad guys, if I remember right. Okay. But I they all made, made it for Carnage, like the. Wasn't there be cool. Carnage? Yeah, mm. Spider Man. Oh, I know. How... I see. I know Spider Man pretty well. How... Spider Man with how evil. Is, how is Marvel going to like bring Deadpool in? Because isn't he supposed to be part of the uh, the MCU now? Well, I mean, Dead... I mean, he is. He is related to the X Men. Yeah. So yeah. how are they going to bring him in? Like, no, wait, it's Deadpool. It, it's literally it, so easy. It is so I mean, Deadpool. That, he's ar- he's already I... Deadpool's already technically canon in Marvel. I mean, yeah, I thought uh, the X-Men were owned by different people from Marvel. They are not anymore. Been... Fox Entertainment, uh, oh, the entertainment division yeah. of oh, Fox was nice. bought by Disney, so Marvel now owns all the uh, entertainment side of Fox, which includes the X-Men uh, yeah. and Fantastic Four. It, it really wouldn't be hard to put Deadpool into it because it's literally just like doing a Stan Lee cameo, but with Deadpool. Deadpool is canon in Marvel because, uh, you know, the rock guy from Thor and Avengers. Yeah, I saw, that, I saw that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, he talked to Deadpool. Video, yeah. yeah, he's technically canon now. Well, Deadpool is just like he's just the fourth wall break. It's he's just like a uh, you can put him wherever you want. It's like that's uh, just Deadpool. He can just pull really up and be like, to... oh yeah, I'll <laughs> ask him to ride them in. Really like he could easily be Deadpool. Fucking... Deadpool with Guardians of the Galaxy. That'd be funny as hell, dude. You I want to just... see a scene of fucking Deadpool talking to Thanos. I want to see Drax talking to Deadpool. <laughs> that'd be fucking hilarious. Say, so would you? Keep... Is Ryan Reynolds always going to be Deadpool? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah so he didn't like being Green Lantern. Now look at him. Low. Ryan Reynolds is pretty great because Ryan Reynolds, he was the guy who got the 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 reboot of the the Deadpool movie. He's like one of the main guys who got it made. Yeah, I was. I, was, I he does. He did, cool. You know, the role is kind of made for him. Yeah, that's yeah. why he tried his best to get it made along with the uh, writer of the Deadpool script. They spent so long trying to get that shit I, made. I can't really see anybody else taking that spot. If I'm being honest, the rated R movie. <laughs> yeah, especially like you literally, uh, you could just have the next Marvel movie, whatever it is. Have a main character and like, oh, Deadpool walks like, hey, I've known you this whole time. What's up? Like, yeah, okay, that's acceptable. Yeah, you could, just have Dead, you could literally just have them like narrate a fight, like in a middle. Or you would be, you would be even better. Don't introduce him. Just have him show up at the end. Like, oh yeah, yeah I'm here. Yeah. Like, don't and introduce I'm him like, in, the, in the background. No, he doesn't talk in the background. He's just, he's just there. I just have like, doing like, he's, like, like he's doing a Fortnite somewhere. dance. Just like the other, I can't see anyone yes. else as Wolverine other than Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Didn't he retire as Wolverine? I think a long time ago, I think a couple years ago, he said he wouldn't do another Wolverine movie unless it was Marvel who was doing it. I might be wrong, but that was after that was before his last couple movies with X Men. So he could he could come back, yeah. And people get bitchy. Oh, but the Logan movie, he's dead. His character's over there. There's there's a multiverse now. That shit don't matter. I mean, mean, everything is canon. (laughs) Also, in the comics, don't they kill everybody all the time and like, oh, he's back. The thing with the comics, though, is it's uh, like the the comics isn't one one long timeline. A lot of it's like it's rebooted all the time. Yeah, Yeah, and they're not like reboots. It's more like here's a different story with different elements of the universe. It's not like, oh, they all died and then they're back. It's more like... This uh, is why it's so hard to get into comics. Like, I, I mentioned earlier like japanese people it's like oh americans are liking japanese manga let me get into american comics oh this is <laughs> it's not even just Jap- it's just average american you know entertainment people like i cannot get into comics i don't know where to start it's that's there, the issue you don't know where to start different things you could. well I, I have no intention to do so that's just an example i mean yeah, yeah. there is they yeah. and the other thing with comics a lot of it is because marvel sets it up to be alternate realities and multiverse places I don't Dude, think the they've been to Earth six one. Is it six one three? Yeah, it's like all the Earths just have different mm-hmm. numbers. Well, yeah, because yeah. the multiverse—you got to know which one's yeah. the prime dimension. 
it's just a number to me. Just get into a, a dark 90s. Well, that's comics. how they explain, like, the one-off, like, oh, Batman, but zombie, Lamau, right? Yeah. The Batman. I mean, that's the thing. They're like, oh, these are all like, terrible. It's like, I mean, man, you well, picked a really terrible same, comic to get into, They have bro. the same thing there, too. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, part, yeah. Well, that's why, uh, that's why Into the Spider-Verse is so good. Facts. Spider-Verse no, it, explains, is it explains Spider-Verse it, but it's is funny. Man. That is such a goddamn great movie. I love I that. Gotta, I gotta watch that again. I'm excited for I'm Spider-Verse 2 and Spider-Verse 2. Are they making it? Yes, there's yeah, a confirmed is. Spider-Verse 2, and then okay. it's rumored that Spider-Man 3, the Marvel one, is just going to be essentially a Spider-Verse movie. Man, the, oh. the Marvel roadmap for the next... Like, Tobey yeah, Maguire yeah, coming back as Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, the I want to see that actually, shit. Yeah, no. That would be <laughs> epic. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland all in one scene. That would scene. be fucking badass. Yeah, that that would be badass. All playing their own Spider-Man. That'd be yeah. amazing. Dude, I hope... Oh, I was going to so say, cool. Spider-Man is like built for humor, whereas I thought like Thor Ragnarok was a bit awkward with the humor sometimes, but... Like Spider Man, they I did what the, the way I thought it was a much better direction than what they were doing. Like, well, yeah, Spider Man yeah. is humor, but it also could be serious if it needed to be. No, uh-huh. like, it's not like it's just oh, haha, it's, it's not like Deadpool. I mean, yeah. it's like, yeah, I feel like it's more built for it. Whereas Thor, yeah. the movies were bad, so they, it's like, oh, so what do we do to make these movies better? Well, so that's why the stuff I've seen, Lamau, Spider Man and Deadpool is a good pairing, Lamau. Yeah, oh, on god. Well, the thing the from Thor to Thor three, I think that was like seven years of difference between the two movies, and they yeah. did a lot of character building between the two movies. So if you just went from two to three, it's like, whoa, this is a really weird and jarring difference. But if you saw mm-hmm. the in between, it'd make a lot more sense. I will say though, I do think that uh, Chris Hemsworth's uh, delivery of his uh, funnier lines is just really good. He just times them really well. They played Fortnite. I they did like play Fortnite. Fortnite. I, I like so you're telling me Thor. they played Fortnite and Thanos is in Fortnite. So you're telling Fortnite me Fortnite in the Fortnite, Fortnite in the Marvel Cinematic Universe That's just put put the ter- <laughs> the universe yeah, terrorists yeah. in their game? Yeah, yeah, like, the game pull up the Thanos like, yo, we want to be no. in. Not only did they put him in the game, they made him playable. You can play the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. You can play the guy that murdered your friends. Like putting the funny mustache man. Imagine in being snapped, coming back and seeing, oh, this game Fortnite. I hear this is a po- this is a popular game. And Why is Thanos like, wait, here? Is the port- Why am I playing as Thanos? Wait, is the no one who is snapped uh, knows like Thanos. Thanos, like also voiced by Josh Brolin. Well, no one. If you, it's not like oh, no one who is snapped knows Thanos. You come back like, what the fuck happened? They tell you exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. It was like, the thing, thing, you didn't. It didn't take any time for you. You just snapped, and then suddenly you're back. It's just a few years later. Yeah, but oh, if you have anybody who stayed there, like, oh, imagine, oh, my baby brother is now seven years old. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah I'd be baby pissed. in the house while well, I was wait, snapped and it died. Yeah, for, it's I, I not coming not back. It wasn't snapped away. It died for real. Wait, quick, quick question, because because I didn't I didn't play Fortnite, right? Was was the uh, was the playable Thanos like also voiced by uh, Josh Brolin? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. they used lines from the movie. I Didn't just they? remember everybody fighting over the gauntlet. I remember yeah. the donkey video. Oh, the donkey God. video. The donkey video was good. They're, they're all good. Donkey's oh, Fortnite God. videos have especially good moments. I don't know. They're just funny. It's me, Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he just proves how easy it is to upset kids on the internet. Hey, this is like say an uh, absurdly wrong fact, and just to just keep saying no, I'm right. Yeah, his best video is wrong, is but insist it's right. Video. See, it's like exactly what Mario does to people. Yeah, just say something wrong. I know it's wrong, but if I say it's right, it's right. <laughs> Me calling my son's yourself. PlayStation Six and Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're playing for your Nintendo, right, son? <laughs> no, Dad, it's a PlayStation it's not a 3. It's a PlayStation. No, uh-huh. I'm no. pretty sure it's a Nintendo. Go play Zelda. I was a gamer growing up. It's definitely Nintendo. Come on. You can't no, go play Zelda. Zelda. It's in your phone. <laughs> it's, I, I know what I'm talking about. Or he's on his <laughs> phone. Ah, oh, you're playing your Nintendo again? Dad, this is my iPhone. All right, bud. You can right, I, I, I know what you're talking those, about. It's those Game movie. Boys are getting crazier and crazier. Oh, I feel like the, the more modern <laughs> thing would be to call, call everything Fortnite. <laughs> yes, for you're playing sure. Fortnite. Playing, like literally Nintendo playing is like an NES era kind of thing to say. Uh, no, like, oh, you don't yeah, say. You say Nintendo. either Fortnite or Among Us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you if they're on your phone, they're playing Among Us. If they're on your computer, they're playing Fortnite. You just gotta walk in. Oh, are you the imposter? 
<laughs> you while your son is on Discord. Ah, oh, you playing Among Us? Are you the imposter? Son, you having fun there, yeah. son? Hey, son. son. Sus. Yeah, isn't that pretty that's sus? That's pretty sus. Son, careful. Don't get caught venting. Are you an imposter, son? <laughs> hey, can you lob me the join code? <laughs> oh, my no. God. Your old man's a bit of a sussy man. This old man's a bit of a sussy This is a terrible episode of the podcast. So bad. Your old man can be quite a bit of a sussy baka himself. Sussy baka, Deku. I'm no, no, no. Sussy baka among us. See, Lucas keeps saying he can't listen to it back, but he's doing that to himself. He wants to listen to it back. This podcast is okay, but I will listen to it back later. Immediately after it's uploaded. Of course, of course. Don't forget to watch my Doki Doki Literature Club video. Yeah, yeah I'll do that right after this. After. Devin, don't forget the blooper. Oh, of course not. It's gonna oh, take yeah, right it's gonna take there. like Bro, thirty minutes of me trying to find a way to stitch it at the end, but I'll get there. That's well, be so funny. F- so F- much effort po- for podcast ends when we cringe. Okay, stops recording. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's how you that's how you end the video. Oh, that's pretty cringe, bro. See, if wow. we end it right now, we got to keep it going for 15 more minutes now. Because if we end it soon, it'll just sound like it's repeating. Uh, I mean, we're at an hour, 10 minutes. We could just be done. You know it, what? It, it you, know what you, should just, you should just kind of cut something off and just end it. <laughs>